Hey, Right Riders, Keith Wheeler here back with another video for you. And I know I talk about puzzle books quite a bit on this channel, but let me tell you, if you think you've seen all the puzzle book software out there, you are sadly mistaken because I'm going to show you a software today that not only allows you to create one word word search is quick and easy, but it actually has something that I haven't seen any other puzzle creation software do, and that is allows you to create things that are ready to upload and be used on Kindle Scribe that you can sell on Etsy and make even more money. And also it allows you to integrate AI within the creation of your puzzle software to make it even easier and without having to go to a different website or you know chat GPT or anything like that. It's all integrated within a book creator. So without further ado, let's head on over to a book creator. Okay, here we are on a book creator. Now, as you can see, there's a, a lot of different uh, things that you can do on a book creator, uh, different puzzle types. Um, you can merge PDFs, all kinds of things. And, and we're not going to cover all of that in this video. If you'd like to see me do a video on some of these other puzzle types, let me know down in the comments. Today, what we're going to focus on specifically is this one right here, one word word search. And here it is, gives you a little bit of a brief overview of what the one word word search does. But to save time, we're just going to jump right in into creating them. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go straight down and go to book settings. I'm going to set up a book for uh, the average size book, I personally like eight by tens. You can do a custom trim size. I will tell you one of the big things when it comes to uh, a book creator site is you can click on this button and it allows you to create a file that can be used for Kindle Scribe. So you can sell this on Etsy. They sell really hot on Etsy. Um, if you wanna do that, then you just need to put in some additional information. It's going to auto fill in the index, the solution, the back, all that other good stuff. You just need to kind of put in your author name. And so for this one, we'll just do Keith Wheeler. All right, and um, the navigation links, I leave all this to the default settings, the font size, all that other good stuff. And um, yeah, I don't, I really don't honestly mess with any of this. Even the messages here, I usually just use the default. It, it's, I mean, it already says exactly what you need it to say. So I, I mean, if you want to tweak it, you can, but you don't have to. And I do like to include a page between the puzzle and the solutions. So we're gonna click on that. Where do you want the answer page to start? On the next odd page, on the next even page, or just on the next page, I do the next odd page. And the text to use for this page is just answers. You can change it to solutions, whatever you want. So again, you can just go in here and type that in. So that's if you want to set it up for Kindle Scribe, boom, right there, good to go. You can also scroll down here. You can watch video that uh, that she created, Cindy created to show you how to use things. Uh, but let's just scroll up. And again, we've got the book settings. So let's say that I don't want to do this for Kindle Scribe. I'm just going to, again, do the 8 by 10 um, everything else is exactly how I already set it up. Number of answers per page. I definitely want to make that um, probably, let's say nine answers per page. Uh, they're going to be smaller, but it's more than more than fine because we're doing a, a, a larger size book. If you're doing a six by nine, then you probably want to do it to no more than four answers per page. But I want to I want to reduce the number of pages in my book to make it cheaper to create, which means it's cheaper to sell. But also, if I am going to make a longer book, I want it to be longer in content, not in answers. I try to minimize the amount of answer pages by maximizing the number of answers per page. Now we're going to do the puzzle settings. Uh, the number of puzzles I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a nice even 100. Uh, the puzzles are going to start at number one. Uh, you, you might want to change this if you're going to combine, if you do a variety puzzle and you're going to combine different types of puzzles, then you can, uh, you can change the, what it's going to start at. Um, the number of letters across, number of letters down, what directions are allowed. So depending on how complex you want to make it, you can deselect. It defaults to everything, everything being selected. You can always go in and deselect, especially if you're doing for like children and things like that. Then if it's for kids, you may only want to do uh, left to right and you only want to do up to down. So uh, again, making it as simple as you can. No box around the puzzles. I like boxes, so I'm leaving that. How do you want to enter the number of times? So this is the number of times that the word is going to be, is going to occur within that particular puzzle. So uh, do you want it to be the same value for all puzzles? So is it always gonna be, the word that you're creating is always gonna be in there one time per puzzle? Uh, or is it gonna be a value 
for each puzzle, so is it gonna differ um, or is it gonna be a range? I personally like to do a range. So I'm gonna do a range and I want it to be a range from one to five times. How big do you want the puzzle to be compared to the page? And that that's gonna sh let it, um, that way you know how much of the page is gonna be the puzzle compared to uh, any other images you're gonna put in there. So uh, you definitely want, don't want it to be 100% because you, you want to add other things, title, that kind of stuff. So I just leave it the default 85%. So again, for the range, you can, I mean, you can go in here and you can change it for the same value. So it's always gonna be, you know, always, the, the word might show up two times, four times, whatever you want it to be, only one time. You can make it so I have to input a different number for each puzzle. So puzzle one, it might show up two times. Puzzle three, it might show up uh, seven times. If you wanna do it that way, again, I like to either do, if it's for kids or an easy one, I try to you know just do all values. All puzzles are gonna have it the same number of times. Personally, I like the ranges. So again, I'm gonna do my range one to five. All right, now it's time to put in the words. So we're gonna go to the title. So the title, either no title, we can have different titles or we can just have the title and then the number of the puzzle. The title right here is one word word search. All right, so let's say that my one word word search puzzle book is all gonna be about dogs, okay? So I want, you know, I want it to be unique. So I'm gonna say find the dog word search. Puzzle title is gonna say find the dog word search one, find the dog word search two, etc. cetera. Um, changing the font size. Again, I usually leave all of this at the defaults, you know, whether you want the puzzles to be in all uppercase or all lowercase. Um, I usually do all uppercase. Again, you can change the font type. You can set the font for the answer pages, the space between the puzzles and the word list. Again, I leave all of this as default. Now it's time to enter the word list. So you can make it super difficult by not entering a word. So they'll literally have to go through the puzzle and find the word. So they're just looking for a a word that has to do with a dog at that point. You can make it super difficult by not telling them what they're looking for. Uh, that would be, to me, the, the most difficult version of this type of puzzle. So I'm not gonna do that. I am going to select the word and uh, you can either enter in your words right here. So let's say I want, you know, if mine is about dogs, I might want different dog breeds. Okay, so each puzzle is gonna have a different dog breed. I can go in here and I can type in a new word for each line. I can, you know, I can put in poodle, all right, and boxer, et cetera, right? And my book's gonna be 100 puzzles, so I, I'd have to list 100 different breed types. Or I can actually go in, and this is one of the things that I, I've never seen any other puzzle generator do, I can use AI. So I can click on use AI, tell it the theme of the book, so, dog breeds, the language, English, the level, the age level. So I can, I can say adults, I can say kids, whatever, the maximum length for the words. And of course, mine is, uh, my puzzle is 15 letters across. So I don't want it to be more than 15 letters. I'm probably going to make it 10. And what text do I want when it says what the word is that it's looking for? It defaults to just find. Um, yeah, we could do that. And I want to include the number of times because I did give it a range. It could be anywhere from one to five. So the number of times, and again, the word is gonna be times. Uh, select the case for the word list. I'm gonna do how it's inputted. And do I want to include the title above the list? Um, no, no, not, not this time. Um, all right, so that looks good. All right, I don't really wanna change any color settings. Um, I can add an image in here if I want, uh, to, if I wanna add a background image to the puzzles. So maybe a, a picture of a dog, uh, but right now I'm not gonna do anything. I love the fact that you can add back matter. So you you click in here, if you've uploaded back matter or front matter, you can absolutely include that in here. So uh, you have to add that separately, but you, your front matter could be, you know, you've got your sign up sh sheet for the people to sign up to your newsletter. Like we covered in a previous video on how to create an email list using MailChimp in like 10 minutes, right? I'll put a link to that above. And uh, or you can add back matter. So you wanna list all the other books in your series or all the other books under this brand. You can do that. Again, it's all included in the file that you create. So you don't have to put things together in, you know, I Love PDF or any of that other softwares like that. All right, so I'm just going to refresh the preview and let's see what we got. So here we are. So here's our puzzle, right? Um, 
one word word search preview. Okay, so as you can see, right now it's at 50%. We're gonna up it a little bit so you can see a little better. All right, let's move this over. All right, so find the dog word search one. So this is puzzle one, right? Find Beagle one time. I make it a little bit smaller so I can still see it. And then I can just go over here and I can look at the answers, refresh that. And so this one, the puzzle one had it one time, puzzle two had it three times, puzzle three had it four times, it looks like. So let's go back to the puzzle. Again, this is, this is it generated. Uh, I can go in and I can refresh it again. I can download the preview or I can download this as a PDF. So if I like the settings that I've done, uh, and, you know, I want to do it consistently. You know, I, I want consistency for my brand, maybe the coloring and things like that. I can actually scroll down here and go to save and load settings. And I can set these. I can give this settings that I've set up right now. So this could be my dog brand puzzle books. And that could be my setting. And I can save this as a setting. So that way, anytime I do another dog breed book, uh, puzzle book, whether it's a, a Sudoku or whatever, under the same brand name, the settings are already there. The color settings, the font size, the font type, all that other thing, the changes to uh, how many answers per solution page, all of that will already be set. So I don't have to go in and recreate it every single time. These are things that I've, I mean, as you've, if you've watched my channel at all, you've seen me use a lot of puzzles, a lot of puzzle software, but uh, there's so many things in this one that I've not seen before. All right, so if I just want to download this as a PDF, and again, it's saying I'm using, since I'm using AI, it does take a little bit of time because it's got to create the breed names, find the breed names uh, within the, the the number of letters I said, which is 10 letters or less. And uh, it, you know, it needs to do that. And then it needs to generate the puzzles and the answers. So it takes a little bit of time. All right. So here we go. This is the downloaded PDF. Um, as you can see, it's eight by 10 word search. So find the dog word search one. Now, if I was really gonna publish this as, as a book, I probably would would change this to something a little bit catchier. Uh, but again, so the first one is uh, Labrador one time, Beagle one time, Poodle three times, et cetera. And then if I go all the way to the bottom, you'll see I've got the puzzles. Uh, and again, I would not include the name up here because uh, because I use such a long name, it kind of kind of all jumbles together. But again, this was all all these breeds and everything was all done using AI. And so uh, it's it I mean, it's just amazing what you can do with uh, in just a few minutes using this one word word search generator through a book creator. So if you want to check out a book creator yourself, whether it's to do one word word searches or any of the other options that they have, you can head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash book creator. Well, there you go. As promised, creating a one word word search that you can have available to upload to Kindle Scribe and sell on Etsy and places like that. Or if you don't want to do the Kindle Scribe option, you can still create a PDF that you can upload to KDP and other places and sell a one word word search and create it in just a matter of minutes. And if you don't want to create the lists yourself, you can use AI to help you out and without going to a different website. Now, if you're interested in checking out a book creator yourself, let me tell you before you do, head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash book creator. But before you pay for anything, make sure that you use the discount code KEITH10 in all caps, and you'll get 10% off either your first month if you decide to go on the monthly plan or 10% on your first year if you sign up for the yearly plan. So again, if you wanna check it out, head on over to kwheelerbooks.com slash book creator and use the discount code Keith10. If you just wanna try it out with a free three-day trial period, you can absolutely do that, but the coupon code won't work for that. So if you want to take advantage of the coupon code, Again, you'll have to get either the monthly or the yearly plan. Now, if you're interested in seeing me do videos on any of the other types of puzzles and other things that are on a book creator that we happen to scroll through and you saw, let me know down in the comments. Now, one of the most important things when it comes to selling books on Amazon and beyond is your book description. Now, if you want to really get a book description that really pops, check out this video right here and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But if you've already seen that, or maybe you're not ready to do your book description yet, YouTube says that this video right here is perfect for you. I'll catch you inside one of these videos, and remember to write right.